hath the word twisted knot IPA. Too short to be drinking shitty beer. Welcome to another edition of Bands Bikes and Booze Reviews. I was out about in Lidl's yesterday and uh, picked up a can of this. This is their own brand, Hatherwood Craft Brewery. That doesn't exist. These are brewed by Shepherd Name under license or under contract for Lidl's. So, again, as I always say, and there's very, very few of these supermarket branded beers that I like. Um, there's a fine balance between profit and quality and supermarkets obviously want to make a profit so the quality suffers and I've found that in the Sainsbury stuff the Aldi stuff and in this stuff as well the, the little stuff maybe this will be different the ingredients look good they've got um, a pale uh, a crystal malt in here and about seven different hops in here. They've got Sentinel, Citra, Chinook, uh, Amarillo, uh, and a couple of others as well. It all looks good on paper. The proof is in the tasting, I know. So let's get this open and see what it says. They reckon this has got big aromas of citrus and grapefruit. Let's, let's see. And there is citrus and grapefruit. That's the aromas. What's in the tasting? Let's see. Let's get it poured out. Now, immediately, this is like a dark sort of amber colour. And that usually doesn't bode well because I've had beers this colour before. Shipyard was like this. Um, some of the other stuff, Goose Island stuff, and it wasn't great. but. Oh yeah, definitely grapefruit on there. Which again makes me think, like the stuff I tried yesterday with the orange, that this is sort of just moody, generic ale flavoured with, you know, concentrate, grapefruit concentrate or fruit concentrate. That's what that was yesterday and they were just masking a bad beer. Let's see what this is like. It's very bitter, bitter citrus and bitter grapefruit on that, which they do sort of allude to. It's a 330ml can, it's 5.5% in the alcohol volume stakes. Um, let me just see. Yeah, they got Columbus, Chinook, Cascade, Citra, Sentinel and Amarillo. The IBU, or the International Bittering Units are 46. The malts are pale, medium, crystal, Dark Crystal, Caramel, Munich, Rye and Pale. I do wonder why they're putting so much malt into that. Which makes me think... I don't know, I think the more ingredients you're using, you're just blurring it. I mean, I'm not a home brewer, I don't know much about the actual, you know, the ingredients, but I would have thought you know, the best beers do have the simplest of ingredients. And they just seem to have thrown everything but the kitchen sink into that, which makes me wonder, is it the scrapings of all the other stuff, or the dregs, are just thrown in? Because it doesn't taste great, to be honest. This is cold. 
it's come out of the fridge so I'm probably disguising a lot of the bad flavour but <clears throat> it's, it's just you know this was 99p a can so you've got to you've got to take that in consideration the price you pay especially for supermarket branded beer is a reflection on what the, on the taste you're going to get extreme examples a proper craft brewery like say these people Cloudwater which this glass is from they do a su absolutely sublime hopped lager and it's probably one of the best hop lagers I've tasted it was absolutely beautiful that was 4.49 a can for a I think it was a five 500 mil can and that was lovely you'll never get a better hopped lager tasting than that Cloudwater oh, I've never tasted a better one and I've tasted quite a few that was 4 four ninety nine or 449, I can't remember one or two, that was 99p. So you do get what you pay for. I think, I could be wrong, I mean, I think these are, someone told me these are brewed by Shepherd Name under contract and they've used this Hathelwood Brewery. I'm assuming that <laughs> it's tasting like, with all that ingredients, they've just thought, well, let's get all the scrapings and the dregs, and just throw it all into the, into the mash, see what comes out. Could be wrong, but yeah. You can definitely get the malt. There's there's that cardboard. Again, the cardboard flavour comes in, which to me just well if you have cardboard flavour that's bacterial or out of date malt that's been used. The hops are pretty nondescript in this. They don't really stand out. Um, there's, yeah, there is grapefruit aroma and slight citrus. You're getting that on the flavour, but it's quite weak. It's not great. Again, these malts, these caramel malts, and you know, the the lager malts. I mean, they've thrown everything into that. But it's uh, all things considered, you know, for 99p. You can get a bottle of that Mythos that I reviewed the other day from the same supermarket. That wasn't bad at all. It's a lager, an interesting tasting lager, I will say that. Um, you could get that for 99p. It tastes, it's more appealing than that, to be honest. So I would give that five out of 10, would I recommend it? I can't recommend any of these supermarket own brand stuff. Rare, I taste any decent ones. So yeah, five out of 10 not really recommended and remember beer is working class champagne